Hey, Trina. Hi. Um, I don't mean to bother you, but uh, Sonny sent me here to check on uh, how Curtis was doing, but the nurses won't tell me anything since I'm not family, so maybe you could. Um, yeah, I, I can't tell you much, really. Oh, is he with the doctors now? No. But, um, Curtis, my dad, he's... He's refusing to see me. I, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm, I'm sorry. Why? I barely know you, and I just shared way too much information. Look, you're Joss's best friend. And I know Joss is busy right now helping her mom at Kelly's, so maybe you could consider me her proxy? Look, if you want me to leave, I will. But if you need someone to talk to, I hope you'd feel comfortable sharing whatever you would normally want to share with Joss with me. Maybe you can take a shot at it. Because I really need to talk about this. And I need to talk about it with someone who isn't family. I definitely qualify. The doctors think that it's a possibility that Curtis may never walk again. I knew that was a possibility, but I, I hoped it wouldn't be the case. I'm really sorry, Trina. That's not even the worst part. Ever since Curtis found out that he may never walk again, he's refusing to see me. After I found out that Curtis might be my biological father, I had no interest in getting a DNA test. Marcus Taggart would always be my dad, the man who raised me, no matter what a DNA test said. So what changed your mind? Curtis was so brave in Greenland, and he literally risked his life to save mine. So I thought the least I could do was take a DNA test. And it turned out that Curtis was my biological father. And it changed things. How so? Things got weird between me and my dad. But it also got weird between Curtis and me because he was no longer just the man married to my mom. Like, he wasn't just my stepdad. I had to look at him differently. I had to look at him like we were father and daughter. And then it slowly got less weird. And we started bonding. Until I just pulled away. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to, but if you and Curtis were starting to bond, why did you suddenly push him away? Because he did something I disapproved of and I pushed him away. So the fragile bond that we were building, I broke it. And now when he needs me, she won't let me help him. I don't know, Trina. I, I think you might be wrong about this one. I know for me, when I was overseas in the military and one of my buddies would get seriously injured, the, the hardest part was watching them isolate themselves from the rest of us. But after a while, you start to get it. I mean, our job, in the military is literally to protect people. So if you get injured and you lose your ability to be a protector, it's gotta mess with your head. And for Curtis, I mean, he's no longer just this guy who's married to your mom, he's your actual biological father. So it's gotta kill him that he can't be your protector. Yeah, but I'm not a little girl. Curtis doesn't have to protect me. That doesn't matter to me. Maybe not, but I gotta guess that it matters to Curtis. So if you were me, what would you do? I would let Curtis know that you're here for him and then give him space. So sitting here for hours isn't the way to go. I'll walk you out. 